In Otsego County, Oneonta officials hope a new codes ordinance will help fight blight. Our Ben Dennis shares how steep fines are associated if property owners don't come into compliance. Property owners of buildings in blight could face steep fines if they don't come up to code. New code, that is. Oneonta now has a new city codes ordinance that looks to tackle structures left in significant disrepair. Whether it's uh, internal or external parts of a building or property that are in poor repair, it could present a safety, safety hazard, and that's our first concern. But then there's also the issue of appearance, and properties that appear to be in disrepair are in disrepair, uh, devalue the neighborhood. Within Oneonta, Mayor Gary Herzig says the existing blighted property count hovers just under 50. Some are in the hands of banks following foreclosure. Even one is one too many. Here's how it works. City Code says they will first identify properties in blight based on a violation point system. Some are very serious life and safety issues. Some are more appearance and aesthetics. And we're evaluating each one and then a point system. And of course, the life and safety issues have a higher point value. Lower point values include peeling paint, broken windows, and graffiti. Higher point values, rodent infestation. If the building is already registered on the city's vacant property list and or properties presenting an immediate threat to community health and welfare. Once determined, property owners are sent notice. When you reach a certain point value and one life and safety issue can get you right to the threshold, uh, we then implement fines, which are serious fines. The city says owners of residential buildings would be fined $2,500 and owners of commercial buildings $5,000. City codes also says that if those fines are not paid, they will be reflected on property taxes. Within 30 days of initial notice, owners can appeal the city's decision. If not, they can enter into a restoration agreement outlining how and when remedial work will be completed. This could include exemption of the fee. In Oneonta, Ben Dennis, Eyewitness News.